Welcome back everyone to another video here on Nasha Vlogs. Uh, today we're talking another, about another uh, Halloween lineup that has recently been announced. This of course is Chessington World of Adventures Halloween. So Halloween this year has gone under a good amount of changes to allow social distancing. Uh, of course you have got uh, rides open till 7pm on certain days. Can I just say, at night, Chesington is beautiful at night. It's a really beautiful park at night, and I can't wait to get back down there. So for this year's uh, event, uh, this year, you haven't got any live shows this year. We'll get that off the bat this year. You haven't got any live shows, but they will have roaming actors. Now, they have had roaming actors in the past, but not for a few years. So I'm intrigued to see how that works. And uh, the Roman characters, this is what they've said. Our spooky characters are broken free this Halloween and I'll bring in some of your favourite rides and attractions to life, including the fearsome vampire and the terrific Tomb Blaster. Additional Halloween entertainment included on Vampire, Rattlesnake, Tomb Blaster, In the Rainforest and Sea Life Centre. This is very interesting to say that they're going to be doing extra entertainment in like rides, so Vampire... Well, Snake and Tomb Blaster. I'm intrigued to see how that goes down. But yeah. Uh, let's quickly just talk about the dates. Uh, for uh, for Hall Halloween this year. Uh, the event will run from the 17th of October to the 1st of November. So it runs for just over two weeks. So I feel like that's a bit of a shorter event this year. I feel like that's a shorter run than normal. I don't... I don't remember it last year being that short of a run. I remember it being at least three weeks. But maybe because of social distancing they've had to um, do that. So the opening times for the event are... On the weekends, it's mostly... Uh, a, a six o'clock finish. Like six o'clock close. Uh, and then during the week before half term, it's uh, 10 till 5. Uh, they haven't said what dates they're going to be open till 7 o'clock yet. But I think they just extend it when they do. So, yeah, going back onto what Halloween attractions, what have we got any scare attractions this year? First off, this year we've sadly said goodbye to spiders. Uh, Spiders was new for 2019. Spiders was quite a good attraction. I said if they were to bring it back this year, um, they would have to change it up a bit, maybe update it. And I think it's an attraction which they could have kept for a long time. Now, I think the reason why they've not brought it back is probably because of social distancing, because it is indoors. Uh, but... It's a bit confusing when I tell you what other indoor attraction has returned this year. Um, also for this year, attractions wise, we've finally had a retheme of Trick or Treat Woods. Now, Trick or Treat Woods has been at the park for a couple of years now. I think it's been about five or six years it's been at the park now. And I did say it was starting to get old and it was needing a retheme. This year, Trick or Treat Woods have been rethemed to the Forgotten Forest. So this is uh, the description for the Forgotten Forest. New for 2020, a, an enchanting adventure for your little pumpkins. Wander through the extraordinary world of the Forgotten Forest this Halloween and discover its quirky inhabitants hidden deep within the magical woods. This attraction is included in a your admission ticket suitable for all ages and will not feature live actors. So yeah, the Forgotten Forest. I'm quite intrigued to why this hasn't got live actors. I know the location it's in it is quite a tight sort of area and when I've done Trick or Treat Woods it's not always been quite a sort of it's not the most spacious maze. It hasn't got a lot of space with the actors because of the way they built the path. But um yeah. And then the returning maze for this year, which now this is the only indoor maze we have at Chesington this year. 
Last year this maze was included in your ticket price. This year this maze is an additional £5 for the first time in two years. And that of course is Creepy Caves. But this year it's got a new name. Instead of it being called Creepy Caves Unearthed, it's now been named Creepy Caves Resurgence. And this is the description. The award winning scare attraction returns for another year with a terrifying new route for 2020. Brave Creepy Caves Resurgence and journey deeper into the dark caverns to experience the twisted next chapter of what lies beneath. But be warned, only the fearless adventurers should enter. Please note that Creepy Caves Resurgence is designed to be frightening. And we strongly recommend the bravest of adventurers enter at least aged 10 plus. Additional ticket required, £5 per person and pre-booking recommended. So, okay, this is interesting. So, Creepy Caves was included in your ticket price last year. The year before, it was, I think, about £6. So, this year, Creepy Caves is a paid attraction, but it's cheaper than, it's cheaper than when it was last a paid attraction by a quid. So, what's this new route? I think we're getting new scenes. I've heard interesting things. Uh, there's rumours going around that potentially it may, the route may be reversed this year. So, you'd be going in through the finale room and you'd be coming out uh, through the lab without the staircase. Uh, there's rumours saying it's going to be the same route but uh, an updated story. There's rumours saying there's a whole new story and it's going to be based off of Crisis World Organisation and Research. Those who did not do Creepy Caves, um, what Crisis World Organisation and Research is, is a hidden secret, is it's actually an acronym for Chesington World of Adventures Resort. C-W-O-A-R, I think it is. Chesington World of Adventures Resort, yeah. Crisis World Organization and Research. I think just like the story behind it in the past has been strong, but I, if they are, for example, going to base the maze more off of um, Crisis World Organization and Research, the people who have discovered the Angel Fire Plant, I'm intrigued to see their backstory and to see what they're discovering next, and them saying in the description, uh, experience the twisted next chapter of What Night Lies Beneath. Now, the What Lies Beneath thing, when I first read that, it sort of reminded me of an old Alton Towers maze, which was called Terror of the Towers What Lies Within. Now, I know Beneath and Within is different, but it just reminded that, me that maybe they're going for something different with Creepy Caves this year. Now, whether this new storyline is because of social distancing, I don't know, but I've always said every year that I've done Creepy Caves now, this year will be the third year, third incarnation of Creepy Caves, but technically the fourth incarnation, if you count the After Dark version, that I've experienced of Creepy Caves, and every year I've done it, or even each run through I have on it each year, it gets more and more insane, okay? If you do the first uh, session of the day, it's most likely not going to be as intense. Whereas if you do what, maybe the second to last one, or maybe even the last run through in the night, you it is intense. Um, every time I do Creepy Codes, I genuinely wonder how that maze is suitable for Chesington, and how they manage to get away with it without so much controversy. You know... Um, one of the comparisons I did last year of um, Creepy Caves when I did After Dark was um, it's got a very similar theme to Subspecies at Alton Towers, which isn't back this year. So, yeah, it's interesting to see what they do with um, Chessington and to see just what they do with Creepy Caves, you know. Um, and I will be filming a construction update uh, next time I go to the park. I am planning to get down there within a few weeks before the Halloween events all kick off. I'm hoping to film uh, construction updates from Fort Park and Chesington to see what's being built. I'm more excited for Fort though this year. 
So yeah, that's my thoughts on the 2020 Chesington World of Adventures uh, Resort lineup. Let me know what you guys think. Now, guys, this is the thing that bugs me. I love how people were moaning about uh, Fort Park having paid mazes this year. Yet, yeah, Chesington, no one's having a go at. Guys, get your priorities straight. Come on. Like, don't, don't moan at parks for wanting paid mazes this year. The paid mazes are only there so the parks are able to social distance groups. Okay? So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about Chesington's lineup. Obviously, anything could happen. There are rumours of a potential second lockdown happening here in the UK. We really hope that doesn't happen because I know the parks have done so much to try and make the Halloween events accessible to social distancing this year. Um, but yeah, let's just hope we don't go into another lockdown. So, guys... Like, comment and subscribe, please wear your masks, stay safe out there so we can get a scare season this year. And please, go support all the scare events that are running this year. Like, whether that's Chesington, Thorp, or even like the smaller Halloween attractions this year, go support them. Because this year has been a clusterfuck for everyone. Okay, anyway guys, like, comment and subscribe, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.